Hey there and thank you for checking out my video, full course on colors and lights, as well as all of my other premium courses are available on Skillshare. Go there through the link in the description to get two months for free. And now, let's start our video. In this lesson, I will tell you a few things about gradient map adjustment layer, and I will also tell you my own opinion about the usage of gradient map during the color grading. So let's open the gradient map and let's see what we have here. First of all, when you open this, uh, you might get applied some color. It doesn't have to be the same because it might be by default, you might have some different colors over here. Simply, what does it represent is the colors are located from the shadows. So in this case, this is a kind of green color will be the shadows and the white color will be the highlights. Let's hit on this. And once you open this, you will have a little bit more options. The color that were represented is here. And on the top, we will have a few presets that we can choose from. They range from the simple to more complicated. And if you would like to have a look into the presets, you can just open the small button here and you can have the presets like color harmonies one, two, metals, noise samples, pastels, photographic tuning. So let's see maybe photographic tuning and let's hit OK. And as you can see, the presets were loaded. And these ones are actually only ones that I think are quite acceptable when it comes to the photography. So these uh, kind of black and white ones are not too bad, but I'm going to reset this and we will do something by ourselves. So I'm going to reset the gradients and I'm going to apply the color by myself, some something visible. So let's say for the shadows, maybe something uh, colder, something uh, in this kind of tones, but also something colorful, not too dark. And then I'm going to hit another arrow here for the highlights and for the highlights, I'll choose something in orange tones, maybe something like this. So you have some random color and what's important to say, you can change the range of the shadows and change the range of the highlights. How to do it? You just simply grab this slider and move it, whether it's shadows or the same for the highlights. You can grab it and move it to change the range into the wider. If you want to work with the mid tones also on this scale, you can just hit and you will have another arrow to which you can apply the color. So the color would have to be rather something uh, that would be transition between the shadows and between the highlights. So it's actually not something I would recommend to use. Um, it's uh, quite difficult to adjust the color and it would have to be something very similar to what already exists in the shadows and the color that blends very nicely, uh, which could be a little bit difficult to do when it comes to the photography. So let's stick to what we have right now, and I'm going to hit OK. The problem with the gradient map is that it's quite useless as long as we don't work with the blending mode. So we need to have some basic knowledge of the blending modes, because at this moment, we could only operate by opacity, take down some opacity to apply the effect. But as you can see, the effect is a little bit washed out because what we applied is adjust the color. Some people could like it, uh, some people not. It for sure depends on the personal preference. But the real visibility of the gradient map is once we open the blending modes. And we can distinguish the blending modes into the ones that darken your image, the ones that brighten your image, such as light and screen, etc. Those that are contrasty, which is overlay and soft light, hard light, the more 
abstract one, which is difference, exclusion, subtract, divide, and below the ones that are strictly related to the color, which is hue, saturation, color, and the light, which is luminosity. For gradient map, the probably few blending modes that are useful is mentioned normal already. Sometimes this brighten one for some creative effect and overlay soft light that uh, allows you to increase the contrast and then color that simply affect only the color. So if we would choose the color, for sure we also need to adjust the opacity. So in this case, lower opacity to achieve the certain color. As you can see, the effect is kind of artificial, so it's not something I would look for even with this blending mode. And often when I was working with a gradient map, I would end up using the soft light, but it also increased the contrast. So it's not ideal because it's hard to adjust this um, to the level where we only affect the color and no other things. This is why it's not my favorite tool that I'm using in the color grading, but it's important to give you this option and show you how you work with the gradient map to color grade your images because I know some people actually like it when someone has some certain style and use the gradient map for just one layer that allows them to adjust the contrast and the color. And if you have your own style that you found through the gradient map, I think it's okay to use it. So this is the information about the gradient map. Uh, that's the details and how you work with it.